Hello and welcome back to D&D with high school students. This is the amazing final episode, the season finale of season two. Cool. And I am here with what I have called now the survivors. In case you haven't seen what happened in the last episode, there was a couple instances of rip. Um, now, <laughs> with me is Matt Cavanaugh playing Maximilian, the noble half-orc <laughs> barbarian, and Carl uh, playing Rayloff, yeah. the tiefling bard. Yes. Of course, on this side, we have Max Abrahamson playing Drake, the <laughs> temple guardian, <laughs> What's that? and of course, Heather playing Milo, the halfling druid. So as you guys may remember, <laughs> you finally caught up with the thieves who had stolen the crystal eyes of Vusek from the statue of Vusek from the temple. Yes. And you found them on the ship. You found the priestess and Gustav, the half-elf bearded assistant to the blonde elf. And a fight ensued, but then it became like a standoff because who showed up? The enemies. Trixie. Anna. And, <laughs> Anna. Yes. Trixie and Willie. So a great battle ensued on the ship. And all the while, do you remember what was happening? <laughs> no. Carl, no. Carl, of it all the like people, yeah. you should remember because you was, invoked a prayer to Vusek. Yeah, I started like seeing And me. something insane began to happen. Vusek answered you. And the, the ocean began swelling and waves and rain and thunder and lightning. It, it just... It was Mass yeah, weather. Whatever things he did bad. Yes. <laughs> things he did. And then yeah. you'll remember that the, <laughs> I, the the crystals were actually glowing very brightly, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so this epic battle ensued. And in the course of the battle, some people got knocked down, and then some people got back up. And then basically, you guys were able to just in the nick of time, you were able to finish off uh, Gustav and the priestess, God bless. as as well as uh, Trixie and Willie. Double God Thank bless. You. You got off the ship, mm -hmm. and I remember you made a couple. You had to make a couple rolls because, like, literally, the the ocean is now basically destroying all the ships. Like, some of the ships that were in the harbor are already wrecked, and like pieces are floating out. The big ship that you guys were on was getting smashed up against the dock, and like the the rope had come unhinged, and it was there were holes in the hull, and it was starting to sink. You guys got off just in time. Oh. Now you're making your way back up the dock. Who was carrying the eyes? That's the only thing I don't remember. One of you guys was. Was it you? Wasn't it Kavanaugh? Yes, Probably. it was okay. Kavanaugh. All right, <laughs> so you're carrying, you have a pouch that has the crystals in them. And they're still glowing. It's like the way. temple. Like still, so there's, even though they're in a pouch, like you see glow, like the soft glow from inside the pouch. And you guys are running. Now you make it up the docks. And just as you make it up the docks, you hear like huge, like the sound of, Sounds like trees splitting and falling, and you look back over your shoulders as you're running away from the, the harbor, and you see the big ship beginning to sink, and like a giant piece of the mast like just splintered yeah. off and An fell in the ocean. Anna and Sean's bodies are on that ship. And, and the, true. The, the, a flash of lightning during this storm reveals that the, the surface of the ship, you remember how I told you there were some like oil lanterns? Fire. Yeah. Yes. yes. And the but top of the raining. ship is on fire. Fire and rain. And, and well, it's oil. It's spread. So oh. there's kerosene, and the top of the ship's burning. Science. One of the ma uh, one of the uh, what do you call it? The sails is on fire, and the ship is sinking. Oh. And and it's the the actual dock itself, it has been broken. So it's like it's sinking while it's floating out to sea. You guys run up, and you remember how like there's that gate that separates the the docks yeah. district. Yeah. As you guys are running towards that, there, you see like all these constables running. Down, down the hill and like there's people panicking there's people coming out from warehouses and like trying to take shelter some of the little market stalls have been like wiped out by the wind and the rain oh wow did um, i do that and again you see another lightning strike and it, this time it hits like a tall building and like it's literally like and the building like the roof explodes on the building as you guys are running past I kind of feel, i'm starting to feel bad <laughs> Almost a little bit bad. You, you guys know that if you keep running, you can make it back to the temple in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Do you continue? Oh, I feel like morally obligated to try to stop this storm, you know? Because it technically is my fault. 
Are we moral I don't know. people? I, I mean, feel we, like, I feel like it's never part. once have we really been moral people. So we should. So do we redeem in, ourselves we or do we stay, stay on brand and book it? And Let's take a place. vote. Max, what do you think we should do? Uh, at this point, I think that we should just kind of book okay, it. Okay, ignore the people. Yeah. I think we should just ignore. I enjoy the angry YouTube comments. I do too. Yeah. So I think if we leave, I love that. if we, we should, leave, I love being cruel um, and brutal. We should say something mean about Anna again. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> if we leave, um, more comments. Yes. If we stay, less comments. Less comments. Less our, ad revenue. And the, is that how the YouTube works? algorithm <laughs> yeah. is not in, on our side. You're so. right. We're gonna leave. We're gonna okay. leave. Yeah. Yeah. Like you from guys, a business standpoint, we're leaving. You guys are running. <laughs> Full Gen Con speed. is quaking. You've, you've got, um, like, just you're soaked. The rain is, the rain's like so hard it's blowing sideways, like borderline this tornado. Like, that's how. You're the worst. And again, Stop. there's like, there's thunder just crack, like, just whoosh, the sound of thunder everywhere throughout this. The, the storm, like, lightning striking. Once again, you pass by, and another building gets hit by a lightning strike. Oh. And this time it's just like a normal building with like a fat roof, <laughs> and it starts on fire. You guys keep running. It's you raining, get, it'll be fine. <laughs> eventually, you, and by the way, you pass multiple squads of constables, but at this point, they don't seem to pay you any attention no, I, because I, I, basically I, the whole town is just getting, like there, there's, you know, water running down the, the cobblestone streets mm -hmm. so much that like you, like you run past some old people who are like, huh, and they slip and fall in the mud. Like oh. it's, it's borderline like tsunami. Like oh. it's just an <laughs> epic storm. You, you, in fact, at one point, can barely see 10 feet in front of you. That's how heavy the rain is. But you finally make it back. And you remember how when you left the temple, they had all those, like, braziers of oil and fire and yeah. torches? Oh, my God, is there a yeah. fire? Basically, all of that's out, except for, like, what's inside the building. So you could see the tower, right, of Vusek up ahead, and you see light, but you, you, you see, like, there's one guard at the the gate like kind of looking as you guys are running up and she can't you can tell she can't really see who there who's there so she holds her shield over her head almost like an uh, umbrella and, and she's like the crystals drake do you have the crystals yes there's no time hurry go she pushes the gate open uh, yes go yes. to the statue the high priestess is there oh for sakes wrath is coming upon us hurry so you guys run <laughs> why are you running you, you, you run past like several priestesses, a couple of them like stop, and then when they realize who you are, they like, you know, they, they run along with you, almost escorting you it's to the me, temple. It's me, Carl frickin' Volson. And, <laughs> and you guys make it into the temple. Oh. And you yeah. get into the temple, and you're relieved to get out of the rain, but outside you just hear the cacophony of the storm. That's and you run word. up the stairs, <sighs> and you see the, the statue, and you see the high priestess and a circle of priestesses around and they're fervently praying for forgiveness from Vusek. They're like, Vusek, forgive us. And they turn around and they see you. What do you do? Hello, everybody. Uh, we're back. We win. Uh, uh, we have I'll your hold eyes. I'll the crystals like above my head. She, the high priestess is like, quick, give them to me. Give she them. takes the, like, yeah, the crystals from you yeah. and, and she runs up to the statue and like puts them up to the eyes and she begins doing a prayer and you see the glowing of the crystals like becomes super bright to the point where all of you have to cover your eyes briefly. And then you hear, before you even see, you hear the sounds of the storm beginning to die down. Oh, outside. thank God, I... Jesus. And then your eyes, <laughs> after being blinded, nearly blinded by the bright glowing of the crystal, you, your eyes resume and you see now that the crystals have been restored to the statue of Vusek. And the priestess falls down on her knees in front and, and begins bowing to the statue. And, whispering prayers of thanks and all the other priestesses in the circle begin to thank them and, and that goes on for like 10 to 15 minutes yeah, that's the worst. and then you as right, as the storm has gradually just died down it's almost eerily quiet in the distance you hear people you know around the town clamoring around but the storm has died down okay. and after a few moments the high priestess turns to you all and she's like we, we are full of gratitude, and, and the Temple of Vusek and the Statue of Vusek has been restored once more from those who would seek to desecrate it. And we, we owe you many thanks. We are not a, a wealthy temple, but we will give you what we can give you. That's right. You and we will personally speak on your behalf to the Reeve, oh, to, shit, the Reeve. to ensure that you are not to ensure that you are not uh, persecuted and in, 
imprisoned for the deeds which you yeah. committed ultimately in service of saving our, our exactly. temple's most holiest that's relics. That's why we did this. That's things. why we burned the house down yeah. for every sake. And killed the And stole guard. his oh, yeah. money. Yeah. 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 All right, we, anyway. We, we, so <laughs> you guys are exhausted. Many of you are wounded. Not me. Um, the priestess offers you comfortable lodging here at the temple. Uh, you guys have beds. They, they do healing and medicine upon you, and you go to sleep. And the next morning you wake up, um, you enjoy like a, a much needed feast and oh. some rest and healing. And then um, you put on your cleanest clothes, which by the way, were washed for you by the priestess. Thank Aww. you, with their washing uh, they give you with their They give you some, some nice clothes. And, um, and then at noon, uh, the, you hear the sound of a bell at the temple gate. The gate opens, you see the reeve followed by uh, 15 constables. And they approach. The high priestess is like, trust in whose sake. Justice and balance will be restored. Come with me. So you guys go out of the temple. And the reeve is like, so, hey. I have been told that your criminal behaviors were ultimately some act of protection for the temple here. That's right. We yeah. chose to act in the most heinous ways to ensure that our great goddess Usaik would be able to bestow her gratitude and help upon this land. And if we were not to do such horrible crimes, such as murder and stealing and burning things down, then chaos would have taken over these lands and you would no longer have an area to be the reeve over. So it's a good thing that we killed those people and- And burned your house down. Yeah. We had, we had to do it. So Electric. you're welcome. I would normally have my guards collect you and throw you in prison. Yeah, However, yeah. the high priestess holds much sway here in Darya Lar Shari. I have oh, sent yeah. a oh, message with a raven to the king, okay. to his eminence. Um, he is the chosen of the water goddess. And we have not heard back from him yet. So I will demand that you stay here for the rest of the week. You may not leave Dario Lar Shari, That's and if you fine. do, you will immediately be considered wanted fugitives from the crown and you will be hunted down and killed. Cool, cool. If you stay awesome. here for the week and we receive a missive from the king forgiving you and pardoning you for your acts, then you will be free to go. Cool. Okay, cool. That's, yeah, yeah, we'll that's, stay we're here down for the with week. that concept. That's fine. Aren't we, though? Yeah, no, yeah. Met him, we're going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. But yeah, okay. yeah, we're cool with yeah, this. Yeah. This sounds yeah, great. Thank you, cool. kind Reeve, for your Very well. Gratitude. My lady, he bows, the high priestess nods, and then they leave. I w wave. So, <laughs> that <laughs> is the conclusion of season two. Holy hell. Well played. Thanks. Um, we may have some additional adventures with your party. Are we are we, we leveled up? We have leveled up. <laughs> so leveled we'll do all that so stuff. Going in my yes. Instagram bio. <laughs> <laughs> Level two D and D players. Yes. Sorry. We um, we'll do all the leveling up off camera because cool. um, Matt has to go. So um, I already missed my train. It's fine. Okay, great. <laughs> so <laughs> I, we'll I was do, trying to point at my phone like, hey, Bill, it's here. Right I was now. like, what is that? A picture? No, that's not. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we want to thank you, <laughs> audience. Trains in Chicago by now. <laughs> we want to thank all of our subscribers, all the people who've been following the show for season one and two. And we are going to do our best to try to bring this cast back together for a little more adventure before they go away to college. And maybe even when you're at college, we'll, we'll try to do some and continuing we'll adventure. Don't worry, everybody, thing. because you're always going to have a lot more of Heather and Carl content because, you know, we have our spinoff show, and I'm sure we'll do something stupid on the internet soon. So. That's right. Thank you. So we're also, we're going to college together. together. We're going to college together. That's right. So <laughs> Tally Light tells me that I'm back on camera, and I will say farewell. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the channel, and um, keep on gaming.